Instagram is a complete and utter landfill of art, photography, and memes. And I know that seems like a weird combo, art, photography, then memes. But when you come to think of it, it's not all that crazy. You got the people on there who are looking to see something unique and creative like drawings and comics and videos, skits, comedy. But then you have the people who cheat the system and become more popular than any account that actually puts effort towards its content ever will be. Pages with millions of subscribers like Fuck Jerry seem to have nothing to offer except for screenshots of content from other social media platforms and sometimes just Instagram itself. What really gets me are these pages like comedy or sassel memes. They're clearly ran by the same person reposting the same memes and getting tens of thousands of followers and attention with every single post they make because they cheat Instagram's system and manipulate people into hitting like and commenting on their post. Stuff like this really gets me, like, try to like this with your nose, 55.5% will fail. And there's a watermark from another meme page, mind you. Um, stuff like that just really irritates me, because they don't care if you like it with your nose, your ear, your elbow, your finger, all that does is like the image and lets Instagram know that they should recommend this page to more people. When in reality, people just want to see if they can hit their phone really fast with their nose. It's not hard. And then they do the same thing but to get people to comment on their posts. Like, close your eyes and type, my dog likes apples. One, two, three. You have three tries. Go! <laughs> <coughs> and it's like, again, they're not reading those comments and laughing at them to see if you've magically, by some miracle, managed to type my li my dog likes apples one, two, three with your eyes cut. No one cares. It's just to get these meme pages to get children or really naive people to comment on their memes, so per se to, again, end up in people's recommended tabs and gain more followers and just become popular on this dumb app for almost no effort at all. Again, you got stuff like this. It says double tap to reveal the, says double tap to reveal the Patronos. And there's a heart-shaped hole where the deer's head should be. Gee. I wonder what that does. And again, to take advantage of very naive people or children, you got stuff like this. It says, follow at comedy or this will be in your bed tonight. Comment done to be safe. So not only do you again have a counter for people who followed for no other reason and they saw that s screenshot of Twitter of cartoony spiders crawling in a bed, you just get more followers because you make children think their bed's going to crawl with spiders if you don't follow them. More like begging like this. Every fifth like gets poisoned. Did you survive? If I don't like, then I guess I'll survive no matter what then, huh? This Sassel memes page is practically the same thing. I just want to show you how identical these two different pages can be uh, and still get tens of thousands of followers each. This one was kind of interesting. It says, type, I have a big, and choose the first suggestion. <laughs> um, I decided to do this. I did not hit the post button. Uh, I just wanted to see what would come up, and I got, I have a big lots. Now, some meme pages, say, for example, this Sweeze guy, he or she at least tries to be different. However, the result is really unfunny attempts at being ironic. My favorite one 
is what seems to be a Fortnite skin staring at his phone. It says, hold up guys, my poop dealer just texted. Um, over a thousand likes on that. There's this fucking novel in the comments. And one comment I did like was this uh, comment from Charles Obungo. Let's see how many followers. He has 81 followers. Go go give him some love. Um, his comment says, This has to be the worst attempt at ironic comedy ever. That is not an understatement. Let's see what else this page has to offer. When someone asks if I want weed. Yes. That's that's close. I'll give him that. Like that's there's a, there's kind of like a method to that one. That's actually kind of uh it's not good. But it's close to being passable. Best thing my teachers taught me, keep my eyes on my own paper. Okay, I kind of chuckled at the comment. It says that is money, not paper. I'm starting to get behind this. I might actually end up liking this uh page by the end of this. Hop in. We we are going Chernobyl, going to Chernobyl. Since your ass want to act, pair a shoes. Not nah, a thousand plus likes on that one though. That got a thousand likes. Um, me and my friends walking, walking to get our circumcisions. This meme does something that irritates me a little bit when it comes to these ironic memes is they'll repeat the same last couple of words once or twice from the top text and the bottom text to imply that somebody making the meme messed up uh it is what it is i mean like i don't find it very funny it doesn't bring back any memories of the good old days it's just plain dumb MFW, my face win. Mom finds the poop under my bed. Relatable, am I right, guys? What is it with this guy's obsession with poop? This guy just seems to love poop jokes. And it says, all you need is two cups of poop and one cup of water to make my famous poop water. Is this guy, like, nine years old? Like, it might be a nine-year-old that caught on to the concept of ironic memes early in life. That might be the where comedy's heading in the future. This meme page, I'm going to take note of it. It might be way ahead of our time. Of course, I do need to talk about how there's no lack of sexual content on Instagram. I don't want to make that the highlight of this video or get too steamy. But I here's a game you can play at home. Play along with me. Hit the magnifying glass to go to your For You page. Now at the top. Slide those pictures over to where it says comics. Okay, click on that. Now see if there's any lewd content that pops up. Before you know it, you'll be you're being recommended ass and titty by Instagram themselves. Let's just like refresh the page to ensure to try this again. Mm. Nothing too crazy on the second try. Let's refresh it one more time. Oh, here we go. Ass and titty. Instagram themselves wants me to look at it because they know what their platform's for. Now you might be saying, John, that might be because you follow lewd accounts. That might be because you are a pervert yourself and Instagram just wants to cater to you. Let's see if that's the case because here we have the Escape Pod official Instagram. And... I'm going to go ahead and go do the same thing. I'm going to go to the magnifying glass, my For You section, slide over to the comics. Where is it? Comics. And see if there's any ass and titty there. And what do you know? First try. Ass and titty. Right on the comics page. Thanks, ins Thank you, Instagram. Thank you. And this is on a page that does not follow any loot accounts. No hentai, no nothing even refresh the page and see what more it gives us nothing too crazy on the second try let's try it one more time all right there seems to be 
we're we're getting to something here. There's some stuff in the some dark some dark stalker stuff in the bottom left corner there. Uh, and there you have it. That's what Instagram is like. For those of you who didn't know, you're really if you're thinking about making an Instagram account, you're not missing that much, really. Just go with Twitter. Like I can't think of anything Instagram does that Twitter doesn't do better with the exception of the stories that like the, you know the stuff that plagiarizes Snapchat that might be the one thing Instagram does over Twitter other than that most of the memes on Instagram are just screenshots of Twitter anyways so just skip the middle man and head on over to Twitter they allow nudity there too it's better in every way all for today if you guys have any desire to uh follow this channel on social media well i got instagram and twitter to keep you occupied and don't forget to subscribe here for future videos like this and podcasts i do with my friend as well as small youtuber guests that answer my emails how to end